Gamer GamerTab Vance with Chicken here and welcome to JTAG Tutorials episode 11. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to get Xbox original games um, working on your JTAG. So this is kind of a requested tutorial, I got quite a few requests and when I first heard about it and tried to do it I thought it would be pretty simple, I thought you would just you know, extract the ISO uh, onto your JTAG hard drive um, by either downloading it off Xbox 360 ISO or copying it from an original disk to the hard drive and then just running the default.xbe file but when I tried this myself I realized that it said um, well I got a message saying that this Xbox 360 console uh, is not compatible with this original Xbox game or something along those lines um, I got a message saying that and I was unable to play the game and it was GTA San Andreas that I was doing so anyway I had a look at a few forums and see, tried to have a look to see what uh, uh, what fixes were available and I found one so I'm going to be, show, be showing you how to fully um, get uh, Xbox original games working. Now bear in mind that not every Xbox original game is backwards compatible so um, not every single Xbox original game is going to work in your Xbox 360 um, but if you go to this link that I'll put in the description I have there's a big list here of like hun hundreds of games that uh, are compatible and will work on your Xbox 360 after you followed what I do in the tutorial. Uh, all of these games will work, so I checked to make sure that um, uh, Grand Theft Auto was here, and it is, so it's a co it's compatible with the Xbox 360. So check to make sure the game that you're um, wanting to play on your JTAG is compatible, and once you've checked to make sure it is, um, you want to download this HDD compact partition fixer and this XB15829 uh, hacked.zip. It's an Xbox One emulator. Um, that's what it's called. But uh, yeah, anyway, download this and this. So they'll be in zip files. So you just want to extract them to the desktop like I've got here. Then get an ISO for it. Well, get your original Xbox game that you're wanting to play, um, which can you can either, like I said, you can copy it from a disk to the hard drive, or you can go on Xbox360ISO.com and go down to the Xbox One game downloads and then search for the game you're wanting. So I found GTA San Andreas in a post. And there it is, and I got the links here, and there was a password for the WinRAR archive here as well. So um, yeah, find the game that you want to download and download it. Um, like I say, if it comes in multiple links, then use JDownloader to download, uh, which I'll put in the description. JDownloader, and you can download them individually, but it's um, it's better to use JDownloader. So once you have downloaded the ISO, um, you have it here, the disk image file. Next you need a program called Xbox Backup Creator which will be in the description as well. Same program we used for extracting the Xbox 360 ISO. Uh, what we want to do is go over to Image Tools, put the Xbox ISO type on Xbox One. Um, I think it will probably work on Auto Detect as well, I'll just put it on Xbox One. Then go image browser, uh, ignore that, and go on to open image file, and select the ISO, open it up, then just select this uh, ISO, the dot ISO up here, right click and click extract, select a place to extract it to and click OK and it will start extracting the entire ISO into the folder that you specified. So I specified the same folder that the ISO came in. So the extract uh, is here. So this is it extracted. Now what you want to do is uh, make sure that the folder that you extracted the ISO into has got the same name as the ISO itself. So the ISO is called GTA San Andreas. So I made the folder where, all, where the extracted ISO was in uh, the same name. Now what you want to do is create another new folder and call this Xbox One uh, one word and 
copy the San Andreas folder inside the Xbox One folder. So it's like X, you've got Xbox One and then the game folder and then the contents in here. So now we have done that, what you want to do is copy this HDD compatibility fixer um, onto your JTAG hard drive. So uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, FTP to transfer mine. Uh, you can of course use a USB stick or a external hard drive to transfer it over. Um, FTP is the quickest method so I use FTP. So I'm going to open my hard drive and I'm going to find HDD compatibility fixer and copy it over. And that's it, copied over to my JTAG. And yeah, okay so now I'll go over to the uh, JTAG and show you what you have to do from there. Alright, so once we're now over onto the Xbox, let's head over to XEX menu. I'm not going to bother adding the HDD compatibility fixer into Freestyle Dash because it doesn't have a cover um, and it automat Freestyle Dash kind of screws up and gives it the Dash Launch cover, which is um, not correct, so I don't bother doing that. So locate wherever you put the HDD compatibility fixer. and just to let you know, what this program will do is it will delete Partition 2 off your hard drive, like the contents of Partition 2. So Partition 3 is what I'm on now, HDD1 is Partition 3, which contains you know all of the stuff that we've been working on since JTAG Tutorials Episode 1. It's all in Partition 3. So don't worry, because HD compa HDD Compatibility Fixer uh, is going to delete partition 2 which is HDDX so whatever you have inside HDDX will be deleted uh, when you run this software so normally you would only have a compatibility folder in here or maybe another folder called what's it TDX in capital letters or something like that um, that's all you would have in here normally unless you've added extra things into HDDX um, but just to let that's just a warning to let you know it will remove everything inside HDDX so once you have um, once you know that and you don't you shouldn't really have anything important in HDDX anyway so what you want to do is just launch the HDD compatibility fixer and you will get this and it'll say warning this app will erase Xbox compatibility partition creating its partition entries you have been warned uh, so that's just saying it's going to delete everything inside partition 2 so you just want to say um, A to accept and write and then just give this a few seconds, shouldn't take too long. Uh, do, 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 do. Should it? No, maybe. There we go. That's quick. Um, it says operations completed, press B to exit. So you just press B to exit. And now the changes will not take effect until you restart the Xbox. So what you're going to have to do is turn the Xbox off, as I'm going to do just now. So as soon as Freestyle Dash decides to load up. Right, turning my Xbox off now and no signal so you probably just got a black screen at the moment um, or a, yeah you've probably just got a black screen right now um, but luckily it's booting straight up there we go and So it shouldn't re you shouldn't really notice any significant difference uh, when you boot this up. Everything should be as it was. Um, but if we go back into freeze, uh, not freestyle dash, sorry. If we go back to XEX menu 1.2 or 1.1 or whatever, um, and go to HDDX, you'll notice that there's now nothing inside. It's empty. So that's what you want. And now we'll go back over to the computer and show you what you have to um, do from there. Right, so we're almost done now, guys. What we want to do is copy this Xbox One emulator f uh, over to your uh, JTAG, but you've got to put it in a specific place, so bear with me. Um, go on FileZilla and transfer it over, or use a USB stick or external hard drive, but that is a lot slower, so I definitely recommend FileZilla instead. So connect to your, your JTAG, and what you want to do is locate that... Xbox One um, folder and this is the folder we want, the compatibility folder. 
and you want to put it in on the JTAG you want to put it in the HDDX folder I just want to paste it over in here I used I'm using FTP a hell of a lot and I'm sorry if you're not familiar with this program FileZilla um, watch JTAG tutorials episode 6 if you're if you're you know not knowing what's going on here but uh, like I said you can transfer this over to using a USB stick just go on XX menu and then copy the compatibility folder from your USB stick and paste it in the HDDX folder uh, with it using XX menu or freestyle dash file manager and um, yep that looks like everything has successfully transferred over so um, now what we want to do is get our ISO now the one we extracted the Xbox one folder we're going to put that on a USB stick um, or an external hard drive or whatever I could transfer this over using FTP but uh, FTP is not so good on very large files like a 7 gigabyte um, ISO so um, I recommend transferring it over using an external hard drive or USB stick if possible so just copy your whole ISO into your USB stick oh it's not 7 gigabytes on my own but it's only 2.8 but still um, transfer that over to your JTAG as well and once you have the ISO um, on your JTAG hard drive or external hard drive or USB stick and it's plugged into the Xbox and we'll now show you what you have to do from there right so we're back over onto the um, JTAG or Recycler Chat and what you want to do is again just go and head over onto XCX menu to check to make sure that you now should have um, in the HDDX folder you should have a compatibility folder in here now with all of this stuff in um, you know all of this and once you have confirmed that you have that you that's basically it I mean literally you can now start the game um, so I need to I don't have my external hard drive plugged in that has San Andreas on it so I'm just gonna plug that into my Xbox right now and see where we're going with this just refreshing till you there we go right um so you can now locate the Xbox one folder which is where is it there it is and then go inside San Andreas or whatever game it is and launch the default.xbe file it should now work but as usual I like to add it into freestyle dash because it looks better and it's more convenient because you boot into freestyle dash defaultly anyway and it's you know it's better to be able to just go on Xbox classic and start up uh, your Xbox game through freestyle dash so that's what we're going to do so we're going to go into our settings content settings manage game paths press Y to add a game path select um, Xbox classic then change path go to where your game is located um, which is Xbox One, San Andreas. Press Y once you reach the directory that has the .xbe file in it. And then check how many folders it's in. So it's in the root and then it's... So there's the root and then there's Xbox One then GTA San Andreas. So you put the scan depth on three depending on how many um, directories it has to go in to locate the default .xbe file. Then press X to save. And now, when we back out and we go to Xbox Classic, check it out. We have got our Xbox original game showing up. Uh, if it says missing cover, make sure you're connected to the internet on Freestyle Dash and go to refresh artwork. And it should um, download the cover for this. Uh, it should do it automatically. And now let's play the game and see if it works. So start game. I'm no longer getting that error message saying that it's not compatible because we've done the the whole um, partition fix. And the game's now loading up. So there we go. Don't have the access to the guide while I'm playing an Xbox original game, but that's um, proof that it's now working. So. Um, 
Yep. Just back out business just now. There we go. Alright guys, so that's how you do it. That is how you add a Xbox original game into Freestyle Dash. That's how you um, get our Xbox original games working on your JTAG uh, without getting that compatibility um, error message. So I hope, hope uh, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial and hopefully you've got your Xbox original games working now. Um, so obviously uh, like the video if you uh, liked it and found it useful. Um, I'll leave a comment if you've got any more questions and of course subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and um, yeah so you can request more tutorials from me as well and if I think it's a relevant tutorial to make I will make one um, but uh, yeah not sure what the next tutorial will be um, but yeah anyway stay tuned anyway for my next video and I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video so goodbye <laughs>